What up everybody, it's Newbie and welcome back to a brand new FIFA 21 video. It's Friday and EA have released some icon SBCs, Player of the Month Bruno Fernandes and Stindl and there is the Bundesliga Player Objective Daily Sinkraven. In this episode we're gonna take a look at the best possible 77 rated Bundesliga squad on 100 cam to complete this objective quick and easy in managerial masterpiece. Before we start though, if you're new to the channel, if this content is helpful and enjoyable, please smash that subscribe subscribe button help the channel grow as much as we can. Hi guys, let's do this shit. Hey yo Nobi, that Bruno Fernandes looks tasty bro. When are you gonna get him? Don't know guy, he's so damn expensive. So this is the team that I will rock in this Bundesliga player objective. I have Wang Hee Chan of course with the 93 base, 79 dribbling and 75 shooting up front. He's a phenomenal striker, a little bit glitchy and perfect for this managerial masterpiece. Next to him will be Rashika. He isn't the greatest but he is low rated with 79 rated. 88 base, 83 dribbling and 79 shooting. I'll probably swap him out for a Boadu or a Riano Kerr. Moving on to the left mid, we have of course Leon Bailey. 94 base, 82 dribbling and 76 shooting. Of course, I would like to have a Kingsley Coman in there, but he is just too high rated. So Leon Bailey it is. On the right mid position, we have Young Wu Young. Also, he is phenomenal, the storyline card. 91 pace, 87 dribbling and 75 shooting. This guy is very, very good as well. I love his dribbling. If you didn't unlock his storyline card, you can always put in an 82 rated Karim Belarabi. On the midfield, we have, of course, Limer, 85 pace, 80 defending and 77 physicals. He is a great, great CDM. Very good. Love him. And next to him will be Malong, 82 pace, 70 defending and 82 physicals. Not the greatest CDM. He's pretty good, though. He's decent. We used him in the Leon Bailey uh, objective but I will probably swap him out for Magica or Opara in the second half. Then moving on to the left back position, it can only be one Alfonso Davies, 96 pace, that's all you need, this guy is a beast. 76 defending and physicals, he is very good. Right back position will be Mbabu, 89 pace, 74 defending and 81 physicals, also a very good right back. Then on the center back positions, you have a few options, you can put in uh, Upamecano, but I like to put in Roussillon just because he has that 88 pace, 76 defending and 76 physicals. The pace is all you need for your center backs. He is very good as a center back, but yeah, he won't be on 10 cam. He will be on 7 cam, I believe, 6 cam even. But still, you know, this guy is very good. He will get the job done. Next to him will be Klosterman, 84 pace, 82 defending and 77 physicals. Nice and low rated, 80 rated, but of course he is very good. Then. The only way to get all these players in your team is to have a 75 rated goalie. So yeah, the goalie is shit, Flecken, but he is 195 so hopefully he can prevent people from scoring. Then on the bench you have to have three 65 rated silver cards. If you don't have those the rating will go up to 78 straight away. And you have to have four 75 rated cards to get that rating done. So I have two defensive subs, Opara and Mojica. These two are absolute beasts, low rated, but very good defensive subs. And up front to swap out Rashika, we have Boadu, 88 pace, 76 dribbling, 74 shooting, and Kerk, 93 pace, 76 dribbling, 71 shooting. So if I need an offensive sub, I will put one of these two in. There are a lot of good Bundesliga players like Jao Victor, like Mateus Cunha, like Coman, but as I said, these are too high rated to get them in the squad. So yeah, I used this team before in the Leon Bailey objective and they got me those easy wins. So hopefully we can do it again. Now to get this objective done, you need to win 50 matches using only Bundesliga players. You need to score 30, so that will be easy. Assist 20 is very easy. Assist with a cross in four separate matches, that is going to be tricky and score a finesse goal six times, that is going to be easy. So the only problem I see is to assist with a cross. Now, again, just like with the Geddes objective, you need to win 15. So that means you probably need to play 20 matches or so to get those 15 wins in. So it's a lot of matches. Let's take a look at Singgraven and see if he is worth it. Yeah, that's what your wife said. So daily Singgraven, he's only five foot 10. A high medium work rate isn't ideal for a left back. Left footed, four star skill moves is very good and three star weak foot. Now the great thing about this card is the pace, 91 acceleration and 91 sprint speed. 
If we take a look at the defending, we see 84 interceptions, 83 defensive awareness, and 82 stand tackle. So those stats aren't the highest. He does have 82 stamina, 70 strength is a little bit low, and 83 aggression. So I will probably drop an anchor cam style on this card to boost that pace by plus 5 and boost that defending and physical stats. His dribbling looks phenomenal, 92 agility, 89 ball control and dribbling. So he will be very smooth on the ball in game. 84 balance, 86 reactions and 77 composure. His passing is decent, not the best. 84 vision, 85 short pass and 83 long pass. So nothing fancy, but just decent. It will get the job done. His shooting is irrelevant, 68 finishing, 69 long shots, so yeah. You definitely want to leave this guy back. He has enough pace to track people down. You might even want to use him as a center back on 7 camp. So yeah, this is the team that I will rock to get this Singhraven done. You know, 15 wins is a lot. I'm not entirely sure if it's worth it, but he does have great pace. So we will try him out in game. I like to collect these cards anyway, so we will go for the grind, but it's going to be a doozy. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully this episode was helpful. Let me know in the comments what you think of this team. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a like. And I will see you guys in the next vid. Later.